Apple's liquid glass design just dropped. Learn how to recreate it using only Tailwind in this video. It is actually not something new. I created this glass morph navbar one year ago and I'm still using it on my website. And here you can see that glass effect that we have on this navbar. It's also looking nice in light mode. We can see all the colors behind. We have that transparency and blur and we can also read text quite well. We can see here clearly that we have components and that is really the important part of this liquid glass style. So let's try to implement that glass morphism here and to create this button to be out of glass. Here is the code from this page and we need to change this try it out button. I'm just going to put it outside because here we actually have this grid so it's much easier to test it out. We are going to see something behind this button and check out how easy it is actually. So here we are going to put a couple of class names. So first one is going to be background neutral and then 400 with the opacity of 20. Now this opacity slash 20, this one is giving opacity only to the background and not to the text. We can see now that it is already working and this grid behind our button is visible. So we need now our text, we need to put some color. I'm going to put text neutral 200 to give it a little bit of grayish look. It shouldn't be white on dark mode because then it doesn't look like glass. Maybe even 300, 400, something like this. This one looks fine. And now we need that blur. We need to make it to look like glass. And for that, we are putting in the backdrop blur and we can try this medium, but that one is not going to work because as you can see here, it is not transparent. We are not seeing the grid behind our button. Even the XS is not going to work, but we can put it like this, custom one pixel. And now you can see the grid behind, it's barely visible, and we still have that blur effect. So it really looks like a glass. And now next thing that we need to do is we need to create some border to make it stand out, to make some edge of that glass. And for that, we are just going to put here a simple border like this. And we are going to put color neutral and let's say 400, something like this. This one is nice. We can put here also a little bit of transparency so we can put 20 same like for our background and now here we have that edge so it really looks like let's say like some kind of iphone and let's change this hover for quickly so here hover is just going to be the opacity of 30 and not of 20 and now you can see here when we go when with our mouse over this button it really gives that glass effect. And one last thing we have is to make it look good in the light mode. And we are going to do that easily. So here we have text neutral 300 for the dark mode. That one is just going to be dark. And we're going to pick that one up and we can put, for example, 600 to be for our light mode like this. That one is already better. And also for our, our background, we are going to copy this one and here we are going to put dark and here as well we are putting dark and we are going to paste those colors. So we are going to put for the background 200 like this. Maybe it's too much. I'm going to put 300. Yeah, this one is now much better and hover should be also 300 but with 30 opacity. So now we can see here that we when we go our mouse over our button, we really have that nice looking glass effect and it's looking almost like the Apple design. And we can now just copy paste all these classes from here, from this button, and we can use it, for example, on this card and everything is going to work exactly the same. So here, if we put it, we can see that this card is now a glass card and we can see the grid behind. So I'm going to put these classes for you in the description below if you want to use it and you can of course tweak it however you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, join the mighty horde, subscribe.